And it's been 10 years since Ghanaian lawmakers passed the People Amendment Law, which allows its citizens resident abroad to vote. But with two general elections after the law was passed and another coming up in two weeks, Ghanaians in diaspora are crying out that they are still unable to carry out their civic duty. Correspondent Detola Dimola went to New York to find out how Ghanaians are feeling. Here's her report. Kofi Boateng, who heads U.S. Advocacy Group, Progressive Alliance Movement, is leading the call for Ghanaians living abroad to be allowed to vote in upcoming elections. I would like to see them implementing the law full-fledged so that we will have a path to the uh, election process in Ghana, Ghanaians living abroad, especially when there is a general acknowledgement that Ghanaians living abroad play such an important role in the economics of Ghana. His outcry is supported by many Ghanaians who frequently visit this restaurant at the Bronx in New York. I wish that Ghanaians living in abroad will be able to vote because it's our fundamental right. If we are all Ghanaians and if something like this is going on, they have to give us a platform here so we can also cast our vote and elect what you want. We have to let the Ghanaians have brought to, to vote on the coming elections so that they will hear our views, what we want, and because we have been in a white man's land and we know what what they do here is different from ours. We are Ghanaians but we, we we are not part of Ghana because we don't we don't cast our vote, we don't do anything. So we it seems like they don't count us as Ghanaians. I can just take a flight from here to United States, way down back Ghana. That costs like one thousand five hundred dollars just to go back home to vote, which is so bad. Kofi adds that his group has made several attempts to make their case known to the Electoral Commission in Ghana to no avail. We wrote several letters to the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Um, I have gone personally uh, uh, to Ghana uh, uh, in an attempt to meet with them, which didn't happen. None of our letters have been responded to. So uh, we were forced to write a writ, bring the case to court, the High Court of Ghana, which we did. And even when we did that, the Electoral Commission did not respond. He explains why it is important for Ghanaians in diaspora to vote. If we can vote, then we can help, we can affect policy. Because if we can affect policy, obviously the quality of life before better policies affects everybody. The demands from Ghanaians living abroad is simple and clear. They want to be a part of the electoral system back home and they are calling on the president and indeed the electoral commission to ensure that they begin to implement the laws that were passed in 2006 that allows every Ghanaian living outside of the country to participate in elections. Detola Dimala, TVC News, New York.